Well, the other big story is the coronavirus. There are now at least 29 cases that we know of in India. A Paytm employee who was uh, in Italy has just tested positive for it uh, in Gurgaon, just outside Delhi. The company has just put out a statement a little while ago. In addition to that, 16 Italian citizens and one Indian driver in a group of 23 Italians has also been affected. Uh, in all, there are 16 Italians that have tested a positive. 14 of them are in Delhi and two in Jaipur. That be, they're being treated at an ITBP facility as well as designated hospitals. Uh, in Delhi, we know a 45-year-old resident has been infected. Six people from Agra uh, who are now in Delhi have also tested positive and are in hospital. There's one techie in Hyderabad who's infected. And in Kerala, uh, three patients who were infected have now recovered. That's where things stand as far as the overall picture is concerned. Vishnu Shom and Sakshi Bajaj joining us for the latest on this big story. Vishnu, first of all, the health minister announcing today that all international passengers are going to be screened at the airport. What does that mean? Well, essentially it means, and this is important, um, and let me give you an idea of the numbers. There would be approximately 25 to 26,000 passengers in Delhi airport on a daily basis who come into the country. All 25 to 26,000 passengers on a daily basis at this one airport will need to be screened. The video that you see is actually of that screening process, so it's not very difficult. You stand in front of a thermal imager. It takes a, an image of, uh, of your body. If there are so-called green areas over there, then that indicates that there could be some problems. And then you are stopped and you could be put into quarantine if you test positive for coronavirus. But this is a very big step which has been taken but because if, as you know, Nidhi, earlier on there wasn't screening for all flights. There was screening for flights coming in from 12 countries, those countries which were worst affected. But in the process, there were people who tested positive for coronavirus who slipped through. For example, the individual in Delhi had a Schengen uh, visa. So he traveled from Vienna to Italy to Hungary, back to Italy, and then on to Austria. But there was no alert for Austria. So he, when he landed in Delhi, he wasn't screened, right. picked up the infection. His family members got it as well. So now all passengers, international flights coming in will be screened, not just in Delhi, across the country. Well, uh, Sakshi is also joining us. Sakshi, in fact, we've seen a Paytm employee now being uh, has tested positive and uh, that employee was also in Italy. What more do we know from Paytm? Absolutely. We just spoke to company officials there and of course, you know, with the coronavirus outbreak, everyone is really worried. However, what the company has confirmed to NDTV is that this employee was aged in his 20s, is aged in his 20s. They've also said that at the moment, this employee is in isolation at the Safdajang Hospital in New Delhi. They said the employee went for a family vacation to Italy, got back earlier this week and felt feverish. And the company only got to know this evening that he's actually tested positive for coronavirus and the company at the moment has shut down their Noida and Gurgaon offices. They are looking at sanitizing the offices and have asked employees to work from home. So that's what we know at the moment. All right. Well, thanks very much uh, to Sakshi and Vishnu for that update. I'd like to go across to Dr. Arvind Lal. Uh, who joins us for more on this big story. A lot of people have been calling in with questions on what they're supposed to do. Uh, Dr. Lal, first of all, you're the chairman and MD of uh, the Dr. Lal Path Labs. Are we equipped to, you know, really get to the bottom of this uh, as, a, as a country? Uh, are, are our systems in place to deal with this, this uh, virus? Uh, the, the answer is yes, because a lot of uh, mobilization has gone into uh, place. For example, 26,000 passengers have been, you know, put under observation. That's not a small number. And about, uh, you know, 4,400 uh, patients can be quarantined at one point of time all over India. And uh, uh, also, uh, the, a, a lot of effort has now gone on since uh, 2009, when we first uh, had the, the epidemic of uh, swine flu in India, H1N1. At that point of time, the testing facilities in the government uh, were not up to the mark, or they were not so many. But today, the government of India is uh, saying it's uh, you know it's ready with 15 testing centres and uh, 19 more uh, you know are coming up any moment. So I would not say that we are not prepared. We are prepared, but we need to step up our vigil, especially in view of the fact that the the virus can travel you know with the patient, as you just mentioned about this gentleman. Uh, you know, who went from Italy to Austria, etc., etc. So, you know, this is what has to be done. And the simple question should have been asked that where have you been in the last 14 days? Which all countries have you visited? And I think the answer would have come. 
So there is a need not to let her vigil down. Right. Well, Dr. Lal, what, what should people watch out for? I mean, uh, if people feel that they have the symptoms, what, what do we have to go through? What is the testing that we have to go through? What do we have to do? The, uh, the symptoms here are like any other influenza virus. But the difference is that in this case, you start with a, a sore throat, which is dry, dry sore throat. And it lasts for about three to four days. And then the virus trickles down into the lungs. And uh, once the lungs are affected, etc., it can take a very sinister kind of a turn. Uh, you'll have high fever, you'll have breathing difficulties, diffi uh, and, you know, pain while breathing, etc., etc. And that is a time when the patient would go to a doctor and the doctor would examine him and order for this coronavirus test. So the, 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 the good thing is that you can actually put a break in between, you know, what is happening. Anybody who has this dry, uh, you know, kind of a cough and is having these what we call prodromal symptoms of uh, 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 coronavirus infection, well, he should immediately start doing what we have been taught right from the time when we were children, uh, warm saline gar gargles about two or three times in a day. And that will kill the virus right there and then. So there are ways and we all have to be vigilant. All right. Well, uh, Dr. Lal, one last question before you go, though. Uh, it is interesting that actually the mortality rate as far as the coronavirus concern is concerned is very, very low. From whatever reports one reads, it's only 1% to 2% of the cases where pe people actually die from it. You had much higher fatalities in other you know, outbreaks uh, earlier. Uh, you know, Therefore, people don't need to panic, right? I, I think that is a very important message we need to hear from doctors again and again. Correct. So uh, the, the, the thing is like this, that these are a group of influenza viruses. They keep showing their, you know, bad face from time to time. And uh, yeah, as early as 1914 to 1918 war, they, they said that more people were killed by the influenza virus than uh, due to the First World War. So, so you have to be vigilant. This can take a very sinister turn, and especially in a place like India, where we have, you know, a very large number of population compressed in a small area, and one person can infect the other. So that is what the problem is. And, and we, we suffer from viruses and flu all the time, uh, sore throat, uh, nose running, etc., etc. So hidden behind one of these symptoms is one case of, uh, you know, coronavirus who could infect the others. So right now what we have been doing is to, you know, take his history. He, if he's been in contact with the person or he himself has returned from one of these infected areas. But I think we will have to step up this kind of vigilance even much more. For example, in schools, et cetera, et cetera. All right, Dr. Arvind Dal, thank you very much for joining us tonight. I'm sure that was very useful for our viewers to hear this evening. And Vishnu uh, will be here after the break with much more on that big story. Do join us then. Goodbye.